want to crush it as much as you can, or if you have a garlic press, that seems to work even better. So now I'm going to slowly drizzle that oil as I whip. That kind of helps blend together. It just doesn't turn into one big pool. Also helps me um, stop it from splashing around as much. Now if I whip really, whip really fast, it will kind of get messy. You see that's all I'm doing is just drilling it nice and slow. like more Dijon, more Dijon mustard, but it's, it has the uh, has the garlic in it, and it has the uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil is the best for this one. Now, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't um, cook with extra virgin olive oil as often, but we're almost like just finishing with this one. It's just cooked differently. So it has a different smoke point, but this one also has flavor, and so we want that olive oil flavor in this. So, a quick way to do this, if it's just the one head, I got the mixing bowl, I got the head. I'm just going to roll it right in there. So now it's completely covered like that. 